we're going to discuss how to make money in Africa. As Africans, how do we come about making money and what are the things that really lead us into poverty and lead us into not knowing and you work hard. You're working very hard, but you do not see the money now. That is one issue that we're going to tackle in this video. So stick around and make sure that you get to upgrade yourself, upgrade your mind into knowing exactly what causes you to live in poverty as an African. Many, 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 many Africans believe that if I had money, I would have done this. If I had money, I would go here. If I had money, I would start a business. If I had money, I would, I would go overseas. If I had, they also believe that if they move, if, if I was, if I was in America, then life would have been easier. If I was in Japan, then I would be having a job. If I went to, if I, so as Africans, we always believe in, in money, in money. We believe in having, in order to achieve something we need to have. I, I, I see it as a bad way, as a negative way of, of, of dealing with, with poverty, of, of attracting prosperity. Now, the points that I will mention in this video are points that will show you where prosperity comes from and exactly what is prosperity. How do you make money? Here in Africa, how do you go? Firstly, you need to understand exactly what is money. What is money? You need to know what is money. If you don't, if you have no idea what money is, then you won't be able to attract it. You won't be able to, you won't be able to reap its benefits. If you, you, you won't contain it. First of all, money is Money, uh, money understands, money speaks, money hears, money can get offended. Money is an energy. Money has an energy that attracts it or energy that, that offends it and gets rid of it. Now, there are laws. There are laws that govern finance. There are laws that govern money. Say, for instance, the same way you, you've got, we've got laws that govern the earth, if you jump you, by all means, you have to come back down. There are laws that govern the earth. The, the law of gravity. Law of gravity, when you jump up, you have to come back down. Laws of evaporation. When, when water, uh, they, that's, that's how we get rain. When water evaporates from the ocean, from the sea, from the rivers, from all those big waters, it evaporates and it goes up into the sky. It turns into vapor, heat, sun, falls on it, 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 it turns it into water vapor. Water vapor goes into the air, through the air, and it goes back up into the sky. Then the clouds get heavy, then they fall rain. So it's a cycle. That is a law of evaporation. There is a law that grows plants. You don't tell the plants to grow. There are laws that grow those grass that you see outside. You're not the one who grows that grass. So there are laws. There is a law of giving. There is a law of giving. When you give, whatever that you give has to come back. When you give hatred, it, that's what you will get. When you, when you go around tormenting people and hurting people, that is the same way you will get back. So there are laws that govern. Same applies with finances. Same applies with money. There are laws that govern money. There are laws that govern money. Money, money. you need to study the laws of money. You need to study. There are laws. There are things. Nobody's going to give you money. God doesn't give money. The government is not going to give you money. Nobody's going to give you money. Unless if your grandfather left, left estates, left farms. But nobody's going to give you money. Nobody gives money. God doesn't give money. Money is attracted. It's got laws that attract it. Now, how to how we how we should how to to start in order to learn how to make money here in Africa, we need to study these laws. We need to study these rules that govern money. If you study wealthy people, how they actually accumulated their wealth, they didn't go after looking at money. The, remember, there is a difference between wealth, wealth, wealth 
and the rich. The wealthy people are wealthy. Well, rich people are rich. Rich, riches come and go. Riches come and go. If if an, if a wealthy person, if a wealthy say if if Bill Gates, if Bill Gates, Bill Gates is wealthy. Oprah is Oprah, Oprah is rich. If if Bill Gates woke up having Oprah's money, he will commit suicide. He will kill himself. He will consider himself poor. But then Oprah Winfrey, life is good and life is good. Oprah is rich. Bill Gates is wealthy. So there's a difference between wealthy and rich. But then now we need to study these laws. We need to study these laws. As Africans, Africans, we long to be rich. We want to be rich. Our dreams are to be rich. Now a rich person, a rich person, riches always have to do with me, me, me. It's my money. You must give me my money. They must pay me my money. Being rich is about accumulating, accumulating, accumulating everything you see. You pile it, you pile it, you stock it. Now that's rich. A rich man uh, is a rich man has got millions sitting on the account. Millions. He's not wealthy. He's rich. He's got millions sitting on the account. On the other hand, a wealthy man, a wealthy man is a person who doesn't accumulate money. He doesn't collect it. A wealthy person goes for a wealthy person is he, he's about the community. He's about the society. He's about giving back. He's about uh, he's about releasing. A, a wealthy person's hand is always open like this. He's always releasing, releasing. So now a rich person is always about taking and keeping and saving. A wealthy one is about releasing. Now that's where the difference comes. They all have money. They all have wealth. They all have money. But now, every, it, it depends on how you see it. So now, I feel like going after becoming rich, it's not enough. You, you, you're underestimating, you're putting yourself in a box if you want to become rich. Riches come and go. Many people, many people, all of them, a lot of them, Michael Jackson, uh, a lot of them, Whitney Houston, they were rich. A lot of them. Now, uh, mentioning the ones here in, in South Africa a lot, I won't even name, name, name names. They, 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 they were famous, they became rich, and they, were, they had it all. They lived in mansions, they drove sports cars and all of that. But they died like dogs. They died with nothing. Simply because becoming rich is not prosperity. Being rich is not prosperity. Being rich basically is enticing yourself is 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 you is enticing yourself into more and more depression and, and more depression and wanting. That's why you see the more rich you get is the more you want. The more rich, the more you greedy you get, the more greedy you get, the more you want, the more you want, the more you get become obsessed, the more you want to take from the poor, the more you want to take. That's becoming rich. Most politicians have become rich. They are not wealthy. So now, now the wealthy people, they give back. They don't take from the community. They give back to the community. A wealthy mindset, when you look, when you, when you, when you want to get giving, they, they look for opportunities where they can give, where they can fit. If there is a, if there is a, a on an old age home or, or a nursing home that, or, or a, a school that needs where there is a need. Wealthy people always look for where there is a need, where there is a need. Now, Bill Gates, I usually refer to Bill Gates because he's one of the wealthy, wealthy people on earth. So now Bill Gates, Bill Gates didn't look for millions. He didn't go around snatching people's money. I know you buy data, you buy data and you buy all that software and you use all that Microsoft. But then the, Bill Gates doesn't need your money. He, doesn't, he didn't ask you to buy that debt. What did Bill Gates do? Bill Gates looked for where there is a need in the, in the society. 
where there is a need in the community, where is the need. Now, Bill Gates saw that there is a need in communication. People need to communicate. We, were, we used to communicate. Our great-grandfathers used to write a letter and give it to the bus that is going to that side of the town. And then they would put that, give that bus to whoever that was going there, or give the letter to the driver to give it, to give it when they reach where your grandmother lives at that town, that small town, the driver would get off and drop that letter by any any shop, any supermarket shop, tax shop, or uh, any spaza shop that they see next to the bus stop there, drop it there. Then our grandfathers knew that every once a week I would go make a turn when I go for my shopping, I would make a turn at that shop, and they will tell me whether there is a letter for me or not. So that is how common, and that used to take weeks. It used to take weeks. So now Bill gets so a need in the community, and he was like, if I come up with some the easy ways to people communicate, look at Facebook. Facebook, they all looked for need for the need. They looked for a need. They looked for solutions to solve people's uh, problems. And then now by solving people's but giving back to the community, they after millions and millions started coming after them. Imagine how millions and the millions and millions Bill Gates has been has been busy collecting and coming. And he didn't look for those millions. He didn't look. Now, Bill Gates, who else should I talk about? Many people, many examples I have. Debonairs. Debonairs started his, uh, his Debonairs. I'm sure you know Debonairs, the pizza maker. He started his Debonairs business at the back of his yard. The back of his yard with one pizza at the back of his yard. And he made that one pizza. And he went, he, he, he shared it with friends and they liked it and they gave ideas. Why don't you bring, why don't you take it down the road? Why don't you deliver? That's how delivering pizza with Debonairs started. Now, Debonairs owns franchises. Franchises and franchises. So look for solutions. If that pizza, that pizza, when he started that pizza, he was like, okay, how do I get, how do I get this pizza to someone else's house? Then that person doesn't have to walk all the way around looking for pizza. Then I can deliver it straight to, the, look at Uber, look at Uber, Uber taxis, Uber taxis. It's about simplifying people's, it's about simplifying Uber Eats. Uber Eats, they deliver, they simplify your job. Look at now we're in Corona, we're in the time of Corona. But they did, food is delivered to your door. Food is, the, you don't have, so you look for ways. Now Uber, Uber Eats is all over the world. But whoever that owns Uber Eats is sitting somewhere in, in his mansion, is in house, somewhere on the street, somewhere there overseas. But Uber Eats is everywhere in Nigeria, all over Africa, and all over the world. So a wealthy wealthy person looks for a need that the community has solve solve people's problems solve people's problems and we all have if you're down there somewhere in Africa someone looks up to you if you're busy looking up to someone else someone is looking up to you you have something to give you have a, you have something to give if you be be the one who builds be the one who digs graves when people are being buried. Be the one who does that. If you're good at, at sweeping the road, be the one who sweeps and go removing grass all over the roads, all over the roads. Get famous for that. Become famous for that. Eventually, people around your community, they will start saying, no, but we know Israel very well. He sweeps this road. He's always been sweeping the road. Let's give him, at least let's, let's support him. Let's give him support. Let's collect a one, five dollars each house. Let's each house. Do you see how money is coming? You started, you started freely. You started free offering your service for free. And then eventually, people, your service was becoming needed. But you see, your service, you're going to start offering that service for free. But people will get, people will get starting, the community will get attached to your service. Eventually, they want you. Eventually, when you get away or go away to your village to visit your grandmother for a week, they will see where you, they will miss you. They will see that you need, where your need is. They will, maybe probably right now, they're taking you for granted. But when you go away for two weeks, a couple of weeks or for a month, when you get sick, admitted at a hospital, when you go on a sick leave, 
they will miss you. They will miss that free service. If you're the one, there's always something to do. I, will, I always tell my friends, if you can't find a job, create one. You can't find a job, create one. There's always something to do. Go and uh, clean, clean the dustbin on your street. Clean the dustbins. I usually tell, I told one of my friends, if you don't have a job, I'm not going to be handing you, I'm not going to be giving you a handout every time you come. I have to give you an, and he's smoking. He smokes cigarettes. He's, he drinks. Now, he must, uh, uh, he must maintain his lifestyle at my expense. I said, no, I'm not giving you money. I'm not, why, do, I, I gave him an idea. I'm like, you can go, you know, you can open a big, a big company. He said, by what? I said, why don't you go take, Take these dustbins. Take people's dustbins. How many houses are on your street? A lot of houses are on your street. Now, do this. Whenever, when, when they come, garbage, garbage collectors, when they collect garbage every Thursday, they don't clean those bins. They don't clean them. They just, they just empty them and dump it in your house. Empty and dump in your house. Now, what you can do is take those bins, take the bins and clean them. You'll be the cleaner to, and disinfecting those beans. Go on each door and infect them. Do that for free. Do it for free. Disinfect them. Clean them. Take uh, Use their water. You don't have to carry them. Use their water. And disinfect them. Do that for two weeks. Do that, that for a month. Do that for two months for free. You know you are investing in that. Then, then take, take a month off and relax. People know where you live. They know where to find you. They see you all the time. They know where to find you. Take a month off. After three months of cleaning them for free, take a month off. And then let those bins look, 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 stink, stink and let them stink and be dirty. And be... They, Within that month that you're off, they will look for you and they will offer a five rand. They will start offering a five rand because they will see for three months this bin has always been clean and it's been smelling good and it hasn't been sticking. It hasn't been it hasn't been attracting rats and cockroaches. They will realize your need. They they will realize that they need you. Then the, do you see how they're hiring you back? Now you're coming back. You gonna you open a company. I told my friend you're gonna open a company, a bin dustbin cleaning company. Then eventually you're creating jobs, you're hiring your friends, you, now you, you're a group of people, you're the CEO. Eventually with time, you register your company as a dustbin. Before, before you know it, before you know it, companies, big companies in your town, in your city are hiring you to clean bins for their companies and for, the, and for, the, for, the, for other organizations. So this is, a, you're sitting on a company right there. Now, that's one company. That's one way of making money, of how to make money in Africa, in South Africa. There's other, there are many ideas. You have something to do. Many ideas. Go around collecting old, old clothes, old clothes from people. Collect old clothes from, from your neighborhood. People have clothes. People, these clothes that they're busy, people have got clothes in their closets that they don't even know that they're still existing. They're just they're sitting there. They're looking for who to give it. There's, even the poor people don't want them. Poor people, these poor people, these people who live on the streets, they don't want cheap, people, cheap stuff. They, I remember I took my shoes, my pair of shoes, to, and I gave it to one of these people who sleep outside. He, he insulted me. He threw that, those shoes in my face. I walked away so embarrassed that he doesn't want them. He said, who are you giving this stuff? Who are you giving me? Will you give me this, this old shit? Why are you giving? Who are you giving? Who do you think I am? He insulted me. And out of a good heart, I gave that, took that pair of shoes and I gave it to him. But he refused it. They want new stuff from Pep. They want new things. New, new. They, they're filled with this. So you, you can go and collect all this old stuff from people. People are sitting with old kettles that are not functioning properly, old microwaves that are not working for they upgraded to 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 uh, automatic automatic appliances and the manual appliances they're sitting with them in their stores so now what you can do is collect all that stuff and before you know we put it at the back of your yard open open a open a free a flea market on, in front of your yard and and eventually by the time you know it you're moving into a shop so next thing you know, you're hiring people to work. So there are many ways of how to make money here in Africa.
There are many ways of how to open. But you see, like I started from the beginning, it's the mentalities, the way we think, the way we see things, the way we view our, our lives. It all ends up into poverty. All ends up into poverty. You can't say you don't have anything to start. Now, that company starts from zero. You start cleaning dustbins from zero. Before you know it, you're owning a company, a multi-billion company that started from zero. So as Africans, and as Africans, as Africans, we've got the ability to do all this stuff. We've got, as a, for, for, for Westerners, Western people, or as, as we like to call them, white people here in Africa, White, white people are so, uh, the so cola, cola, you know, they're so cola, and they, they, they don't want to get their hands dirty. So, but then now, you will see even with construction companies, construction companies, the, 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 white, the, white, the white guy is the one who's always holding a file, uh, um, ticking on who came and who didn't come. So the, his job is a white collar. You will see him wearing that yellow cap thingy for the construction, but him... Him, he's dealing with ticking, ticking, ticking. Now, who's who's doing the digging? Who's doing the plowing and who's doing the, the that hard work? It's you look and it's the black colors. So now we've got the capability. We can, we can, we the ones with the labor, with the labor, labor, with the labor, uh, with the with the with the with the energy. With the we are the ones with the with the labor. We're the ones with it. Now, now. The, the Westerner has got has got money has got has got ability to invest into into our labor, but we're the ones with the labor, with the labor force. We're the one with the labor force. So now, if we're the ones with the labor force, then let's put ourselves together. Let's put our labor. Let's create our own companies. Let's create our own things to do. Let's create jobs. Let's create jobs. This, we can do this by ourselves. We do not need money. You don't need money to invest in. But you see, we've been reprogrammed to look at money as an investment. We've been programmed to look at investing and in all of that stuff. Oh, oh, well, all that is good. But at the end of the day, if you are the one with the labor, and then you're going to be hired by the Westerner and, and get exploited, and eventually get underpaid, but you're the one who works hard day and night. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. So we do, we can really get ourselves off the off the ground. We can learn how to make money, whether online, whether whether creating companies by ourselves. And now we are going. This we this is the time of COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Nobody knows what will happen after COVID nineteen. In the USA, moreover, millions and millions in in USA have 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 uh, have, uh, have registered, have have gone to register for unemployment, have have gone for uh, under unemployment. So, if that's happening in the USA, we do not know what's going to happen. So now, when COVID nineteen is done, is over, we're going to be skeptic when it comes to. Who comes into the country and who goes out? So now, if investors won't be able to be coming, moving in around as they wish because of this virus going around, it's high time we start manufacturing our own things. We start creating our own companies. Let's be manufacturers of our own goods. If you if you can if you can grow, you're having a big farm and you can grow tomatoes. Find ways of how to. Uh, we can make things. We do. We know how to make ginger beer. We know how to make how to make peanut butter. We know how to make peanut butter. Crushing the peanuts and make peanut butter. We can. We can do. We can do tomato sauce. We can do uh, uh, pop the, that pop powder that maize mealy meal. We can do that powder. We can do all that. We can manufacture these things commodities on our own. So. Have I answered your question whether we can make money here in Africa? Yes, we can. We can by by changing our mentality. Let's not start looking at invest at, at investing investment as money wise. Invest your time, invest your knowledge, invest time into invest effort. At least get up in the morning and make sure that you come up with something. Invent something. Put this and that together and come up with something.
we can do this and we're very good at doing this so now if you want to see more of my videos on how to make money and how to come up with ideas and how to change your mindset and how to really as an african start thinking wealth and start and stop thinking rich make sure that you subscribe at the bottom there touch the bell button to receive a notification whenever i upload an awesome video just for your education israel again keep coming back and back again for more tips and more tutorials on how to become wealthy and how to make money online and on youtube and how to crush it and open channels and content that teach and train people of how to change their lives bye bye